What's that? Testing the shot. I recreated the shot. How lucky was Trump? Okay. Probably this is lucky. a different one. I haven't seen this one, but the one that I, yeah. I, I posted to you earlier, that's the one I was wanting to look at too. Uh, but this one's we can, shorter. We can do that one. You want to do this oh, one? Or the... Either way. Which, I, either yeah, one. I mean, if you already care. watched one, yeah. I haven't seen this one, but I've watched the other one. Let's watch one. Welcome. Hang on a minute. Okay. Welcome back to the show. The past 48 hours have been absolutely insane. I mean, an assassination attempt on former president. What is this world coming to? However, I wanted to recreate the shot exactly how it was for the most part. We've got these mannequin heads here representing Donald Trump's head. We've got two of them because we're probably going to need multiple shots. However, if you look here, we've got these little blow packs on each one of the mannequins. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to take this gun here. Now, I know he used some sort of AR-15 style so rifle. Like the other uh, thing, we're going to use this one just because it's, it's very accurate and it'll mm. be good for the test. So we're going to try and hit this earlobe right here and not do any damage to the rest of the mannequin head. I don't think people yeah, realize how lucky he was down. and how hard that is <laughs> to do. I mean, if he moved his head literally an inch this way or an inch this way, he would definitely have been dead. So we did a little practice shot earlier <laughs> and I was trying to aim right at the top of the earlobe. And as you can see, we hit the <laughs> eye and blew out <laughs> the entire side of his face. Um, the oh, shot shit. was from around three to 400 That's crazy. feet away, which is right around like 100 to like 150 yards. So down there, I'm gonna be sitting on top of a roof. If you can see it all the way down there, that's where I'm gonna be okay. taking the shot from. So let's get down there and see if we can hit this. A lot of people are saying, how did they not, how the Secret Service that are trained not see the guy on the roof? I'll let you come to your own conclusion. That roof down there at that little shed is around four, or sorry, 300 to like 350 feet. Um, that's pretty hard to see. So I'm going to play a clip. See if you can see me in the clip. Let's go. Uh, sort of. All right, Barely. we are at the approximate distance away that the, the shooter was. Um, this is like the real distance. So we're going to pop up on top of the shed here, and then we're going to take the shot. And if you want to kind of see up the hill there, that's what we're going to be shooting at. I just think it's absolutely insane that a shot from this distance just grazed him and didn't blow his face off. That is what is insane and how lucky he is and we're going to show you how lucky he was in these shots because like i said i'm going to try and hit just his little earlobe and you can see how easy it is with a gun that's perfectly sighted in to miss pull the trigger jerk i mean there's a couple things like i mean the roof up top had to be super hot for him uh like he probably like walked really far he's out of breath to like climb on top of the roof um just amazing that he didn't kill him I'm gonna try and get up on top of the roof here. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, let me go around back. All right, now the climb, here we go. So I gotta go back here. Hello, where are you? Oh, there you are. Go back here. All right. This is the most dangerous part it's, 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 right here. So. His sophisticated it's a, ladder. Yeah. It's a spinny chair. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Okay. How's it going down there? Let me get this. So this is kind of from our vantage point here. I've got the gun and then all the way up there is where Trump would have been. Okay, all right, well, let me get into position here. My feet are gonna have to do a little, uh, woo -hoo, a little dangle and this is running right up the family jewels there. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can give you a perspective. Maybe they muted it for what the... it would have looked like. Shot? Now, we don't know what scope he had. Um, but yeah. Oh, yeah. This one. Wrong with my sound. Well, wait, right there. Hang on a minute. Something just my headphones just 
quit working like that's so weird everything's working Maybe. oh there we go I can hear y'all now that's so weird all right huh all right I can hear y'all now okay cool. okay perfect look at that that's what we're gonna be trying to hit just the earlobe in this type of condition so wish me luck let's see if we can hit just his earlobe I would like to take this second to encourage you guys to subscribe to the channel because we are and then if you like hit three, the shot or like not. two or three hundred subscribers away from ten thousand, which is pretty insane. Um, I love all of you guys, so let's get into it. The ammo we're using today is Precision Hunter by Hornady, and this is chambered in six five Creedmoor. This is the most accurate gun I have, and the most accurate gun I'm shooting. I just noticed that there's no sound over here on OBS. Let me fix my settings. I'm glad I looked before we got into it. Oh dang. But I know what happened. It's my sound. Uh, that fucked up. Alright. Ah, uh, la, 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 la. Nope. Hello, hello, hello. Oh. Yep, there it is. Okay. <sighs> Sorry, guys. Yeah, that's why I figured. We're good. Let's see if we can recreate it with accuracy. Even with accuracy. We might not even be able to hit just the earlobe. So the goal is to hit the earlobe. Obviously we are aiming for the earlobe. Let's see what we can let's see what we can do here. Let's see what the first shot does. Alright. So this is not an ideal shooter's position. He hit him in the head. <laughs> yep. right. Didn't blow out of the okay. side of his head, though. No. So Pulled closer. Just a little bit. And at this point, um, I would already be dead. So. Yeah. <laughs> that's nice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well. <laughs> well, that that shot's not an easy shot, though. Like that's no, <laughs> definitely not. It's hard as hell. Like the fact that he's even hitting it is impressive. I was going to say the same thing. I'm just happy when I hit the target when we go target practice, <laughs> and it's a lot closer. You just hit the leaves. I think. What did those leaves ever do to you? <laughs> well, I guess I'll go see if I hit anything. We are coming up on the scene. Let's see what we did. Oh, it looks like looks like I nailed him in the nose. Okay. <laughs> Very interesting. Man, I think if I had a little more time, I could actually do this do this shot. But come here and look. Right there. I grazed the side of that bad's head yeah. and just barely missed. So I think it like if it was super accurate, you could do it. Now granted you have to think about Trump's head was moving too. Mm -hmm. Also that timing. And if we look over here, I took a shot here and just went right through the top of his dome, which would also probably have <laughs> killed um him as well and then if you look at some of the other shots they're really hard to see because of the foam but I pulled one really bad mm -hmm. went inside of his face here um, I was aiming here <laughs> and a little bit so it went crazy. straight in his nose well, that as always killed. guys thanks Damn. for watching the um, other one was a lot was, was more crazy. like I said Trump was talk about sinus pressure yeah 
the other one, the other shooting one that I was telling you about was a lot more accurate. Yeah. Did y'all want to watch that one on this? Yeah, let's see it. Okay. A lot of people really don't know what they're talking about. Uh, way I never thought that the shirt I wore to school one spring morning would lead to a federal lawsuit. But the reaction from the... Okay. If you have to, too, since it's a long video, if you have to, you can skip through a little since you've seen it. Okay. Yeah, whatever's not vital. Okay. I guess. On July 13th, 2024, an attempt was made on the life of the 45th president of the United he's States and potentially 47, Donald so Trump. <laughs> the thankfully failed assassin uh, fired a handful of bullets from an AR-15 off of a nearby rooftop, one of which nicking the president in his right ear. The Secret Service was then able to retaliate with one of their snipers, ending the threat at about 3,200 feet per second. But while this assassination attempt was unsuccessful, it started a whole host of conspiracy theories on the internet and it raised a lot of questions really about ballistics amongst other things. So given that recreating historical assassinations is something that we do quite a lot on the channel, we figured that we might be able to shed some light on some of these subjects that are currently in heavy debate in the ballistics of the situation. Now, this is the first time we've ever tackled a situation like this where the person in question is still alive, not only still alive, but still actively running for president. But I do think we have the capability to add a lot of productive data to the conversation in an educational manner, while also giving the situation the seriousness and respect that I think it dictates. At least as much as we're capable. So there's three main things that I wanna hit addressed today. First two are demonstrations to kind of dispel and a lot of hair. conspiracy theories right now. And the third is for fun. The first is showing how a shot like this is not only difficult to stage, but given the equipment, pretty much damn well impossible. The second is to address the internet armchair experts who think that an AR-15 is so deadly that even a shot on the ear would have been an instant kill and that it was faked with blood packets or fucking aliens, I don't know. So we're gonna replicate the shot <laughs> on the ear to show exactly <laughs> what happens in that situation. Now the third thing. That's funny. <laughs> it's just because I think Dude's it's really hot. cool. We're going to be replicating the return shot on the shooter from the Secret Service sniper rifle. We didn't have to do this, but to be honest, I, I like, like the old-fashioned like movies where the bad guy gets his comeuppance mm -hmm. at the it's end. Like so I feel like it's a pretty Not good him, finale, guy, and it's going to look hella good oh. in slow motion. And as always, when we do a spicier video like this, uh, my friends are more than willing to help. My career. I don't know why the fuck they wanted career. to be associated My with career. this one, but they volunteered anyway, so it should be a fun day. This is the AR-15. As you can tell, very effective weapon. This particular iteration is a semi-automatic civilian legal version. This one in particular is kind of more of a budget gun with an optic mounted slightly too far forward which is exactly what it looked like the shooter had as well. Now to a competent person making a shot on a target that is man-sized at about 130, 150 yards, not that difficult. Pretty much any experienced shooter can do that on their bad day. That's also assuming that the average competent shooter has one thing that the would-be assassin did not. More muscle mass than a seventh grade cheerleader. But now what internet experts are trying to claim is that it was an inside job, it was staged, and that the shooter very intentionally only hit him in the ear to, you know, boost his ratings and such. Now with the shooter using an even worse AR-15, it was like an old DPMS, which is just pretty garbage tier to be honest, and a red dot with no magnification. I'm gonna show you exactly what that shot would have looked like from the shooter's perspective, and then you can judge for yourself how easy that shot would have been to stage. So we have our stand-in ballistic dummy target here, and we are going to walk back and pace out about 130 yards, it was between, I believe, 130 to 150 yards is where the shot was taken. Let's go on the inside of that and do 130 just to give the most benefit of the doubt here. For context, this is approximately 130 yards. See what that looks like down the site. So we were just back there at like 130 yards trying to get that through the dot. Would any of you 
stand at 130 yards and let me take a shot on, on your ear. I wouldn't yes. let you do that at two yards. I trust well, that's you. just because you're a pussy. Because the other thing that, like, trying to explain to people on the internet, especially the experts on Twitter, they don't understand, like, Emma way. So, like, when you have a, a garbage tier AR-15, that's, you know, a DPMS from fucking 15 years ago that was his dad's gun, you're doing, like, a two to three MOA. So, three inches, let's say, at 100 yards. Some would say too much. Three inches at 100 yards is now at 150. That's four and a half inches difference. You know what's suspiciously four and a half inches to the left of your right ear? Mm. Yeah. Wait, which way? <laughs> There's air. <laughs> Hang on. You absolutely, like, yeah. this dot covered it's a good chunk air. of the head at that distance at 130. Yeah, no bipod, uh, super elevated heart rate, no magnification. So people are, a lot of people were saying like, well, yeah, you could just zoom in a scope like Call of Duty, huh? No, it's not, it's not a scope. This is really? not like a fucking sniper weapon. This right here is a one magnification. So it's zero mag. It's literally just looking through a piece of glass with a dot on it. So yeah, now hopefully you have a better idea of why saying that the ear shot was specifically staged using that setup at like, 150 yards is just fucking stupid, frankly. But speaking of fucking stupid, there's another conspiracy theory that, of course, Trump was not hit by a bullet because bullets, you know, expand and they have, uh, you know, a crazy temporary cavity and it would have taken his whole head off and all sorts of shit. And he was hit by flying glass that came from fucking, I don't know, it's Twitter. So we're going to recreate to the best of our ability the path of the bullet going through a small strip of flesh, the ear here, and show exactly what that would do to a human ear. Now, in order to actually capture the bullet as it's grazing through the ear, we would need some serious high speed. Maybe even ballistic. You can tell he high does speed. this a lot. He's got good Did equipment. someone say high speed? I don't know why they keep doing that. Why did you invite us, <laughs> it's, like, it's like a bit or something. I don't. So 100,000 frames per second. That should be plenty enough to catch a bullet like that. Because it's oh, yeah. traveling at, what, 3,000 feet I feel like I'm watching Mythbusters. So this will slow down time. I know, right? Three to 4, yeah, I fell in love with these guys last night. Perfect. Well, let's get to it, guys. Let's, let's do it. it. <laughs> now, we don't really care about distance on this one since, I mean, the ballistics are going to be negligible. If anything, closer distance should do more damage. So if this just rips right through the ear like it did in real life, then that should definitively prove it. So. Let's, uh, I just want to make sure we get the most accurate shot possible. Firing. Did I see a jiggle? Did you? Oh, I barely clipped the ear. I clipped it right on the side, not on the top. I clipped him, uh, like, right there in the middle. I'm going to have to look for, like, a vibration. Oh, yep, there I it was. It. Oh. That's all it is. That's nuts. Oh, you definitely grazed the ear. Oh yeah, there you go. Whoa. <laughs> Damn. That was like edge of the bullet. Yeah. The I know. That was, I think we could get closer. Yeah, so I think he actually got hit right up here. Okay. Uh, the bullet impact was right there. You could see where it just grazed the very edge of like the middle of his ear. Oh, but we're right. gonna try to go for the meat. Okay. What I find the most interesting is that the whole head is still there. That's yeah. kind of crazy. <laughs> I, I thought it would have disappeared. <laughs> Firing. Oh yeah, I think that was it. Oh yeah, that was the fucking money shot right there. That's a perfect sim there. How's his head still connected? I don't know, this we is crazy. Forget. I don't think a bullet actually hit him. Like his neck's not broken. I don't... Where do you get the glass to cut I'm taking ballistic out of my know. name because I clearly don't understand them. Oh, oh that was oh, fucking oh, perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Piercing. Yo, Dude, that's wild. what'd they say? Don't get your uh, ears pierced at Claire's. <laughs> When Trump said it felt like More he got flash. hit by something, you can see the vibration. It'd feel like someone kind of slapped you on yeah. the ear. I, I was just going to say, I'm actually personally surprised uh, like that it had that ASMR. much uh, temporary cavity, that much expansion. But notice how the head is still there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah if you play it all at <laughs> full speed, it's like, well, that's very unfucking impressive right. but <laughs> I mean, everybody's making fun of his ear bandage in his speech, saying like, oh, he's wearing a big bandage for sympathy or whatever. You just saw his ear explode from <laughs> cavitation. 
from getting hit by a gun, like. Yeah, it looked okay, because I, I know he was golfing the next day, which talk about fucking Chad energy right there. That, I, I mean, Evander Holyfield finished true. the round, so I mean. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah, to be fair. I thought it was you got, true. Uh, you know, assassination attempt at eight, true. but you've got a tea time at 9 a.m. Like, no, that's what you gotta go. do. Yeah, a lot of people talk golf. about how Trump turned his head at the last minute, and that's what saved his life. And it's really easy to see, like there's graphics and shit of it, but now that we have a, a, a ballistic dummy here, you can actually plainly see the trajectory the bullet took to go through the ear the way that it did, if his head was tilted the way that it was before he went to go look at that graph, it's hitting a lot of, you know, the really important lizard brain stuff that makes you, uh, you know, continue to breathe. So him turning his head at the last minute got a lot of the vital part of his brain out of the way of that bullet, which is just, I mean, talk about luck. We might be having a very different conversation had that not been the case. Oh, yeah. I think uh, that is what would qualify as too soon. Speaking of too soon, you want to gank the shooter? Oh, God, yes. So now let's talk about something that the Secret Service would have been using to take out the nameless nerd and virgin. This right here is an the Accuracy International virgin. 300 Win Mag. He accuracy International was like the Lamborghini <laughs> of bolt guns as far as like not getting something nerd stupid virgin. custom done. Very, very nice rifle. I actually, I've been shooting this setup a little bit this last couple days. Fucking amazing gun. Better be, because they're like 15 grand. Got our 300 Win Mag Spicy Boys Damn. right here. I'm gonna load it on up. Expensive. Keep the bolts open though for now. Got a Badger Ordnance Scope Mount with a Night Force ATAC Scope. Topped off with an RRS tripod. These things are very expensive and very nice. I've never really shot with one before the last couple days, and it is amazing. It's really like cheating. Now I know how they were able Dope. to pop that shot off <laughs> so quick and so accurately after the first round was fired. It's so a funny story, I bought this whole setup from uh, EuroOptic and I was not paying very close attention because I knew I needed to get this video out quickly. So I was in a rush, I bought an Accuracy International bolt gun and I didn't realize I bought the wrong one. I bought one with a left-handed bolt, not super useful to a right-handed shooter like me. I called up EuroOptic, told them the situation, I got somebody on the phone in like 30 minutes, they helped me out. Not because I had a contact there, I was a random customer who spent my own money on this gun and I fucked up. Their shipping guys got it squared away right off the bat and I had it in time for the video. Then we told oh, them what wow. we were doing with the video and they wanted to be a part of it. Nice so ad. they actually ended up sending us out this tripod and really just hooking if us I up. So we, we really like that, appreciate EuroOptic for not only just having a great customer service experience, like genuinely it was, I was impressed, but also just for a genuinely good customer service experience and for helping us get all this stuff out here in time to film this video. So we really appreciate EuroOptic for helping us out with this. Show them some love, please. Now, uh, you wanna see somebody's head pop? POV, you see this popping up over a slanty roof. So now the fun part, we're going to replicate the shot that Secret Service took on the would-be assassin here. Not 100% clear, judging by some of the photos that I've seen exactly where he was shot and where it exited. So I'm gonna take some creative liberty. I know he was shot in the head. So now we're gonna see in about 100,000 frames per second exactly what was going through his head. See, he kind of looks like Harry Potter now that I think about it. <laughs> Let's wait for that. Why is his teeth so straight? Yeah, his teeth what? are kind of straight. And... What is that, a jaw? <laughs> this isn't accurate. I need to kind of carve some of that away, make it a little flatter down here. Kind of concave his head in a little bit. No, they do. Don't worry, we'll do that part actually in here in a second. These guys yeah, are I very think, uh, I think the 300 wind mag. Holy shit! I want to be of friends. Godspeed. I know. Little <laughs> asshole. Without further ado, let's go ahead and take this shot. Firing. Three. Two. One. I think we hit him. What? Wow. <laughs> Holy Girl, shit. Pick that all up. <laughs> That's graphic. His brain. His brain's laying on the ground back here. Oh, that looks more like his jawline. <laughs> Bet you won't do that again. Dude, that is genuinely like a fucking 3,200 feet per second uh, decapitation. That oh, he I fell down. I can't. <laughs> a loud noise was heard oh, and he God. fell. Wait till you see this. <laughs> Based on how fucking cool it looked 150 no. yards away, it's gonna look oh pretty cool. Oh my god, no. Stop. I want that camera so bad. <laughs> That 
looks just like him. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> well, it looked like him at some point in his life. Oh. That looks more like him now. You, so you did insane. put the glasses. Oh, really? Okay, good, good. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I was, it. I was aiming for the glasses. The the the, the yeah, left side like glasses. Right here on the bridge yeah. of it. Oh, it's turning oh. his fucking. All the force is still pulling his oh. skull backwards. Here. Oh yeah, because I because I hit him technically on his right saying, side, so he spun. It. Well, so the death photo didn't quite look like that, but we were also using like ballistic tip <laughs> shit and uh, all. Yeah. It ignites stuff inside of his head. Right. Yo, oh, yeah, it actually does. Insane. You see the flash. That's that, probably the metal off of the... It's the radio the CIA was playing the message. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Yeah, we got him. Well, I believe the president is safe. Not gonna lie, I was a little graphic. That was probably a little unnecessary. But hopefully some of the stuff that we talked about today uh, dispels a few of the myths. Uh, there's a lot of, a lot of misinformation going around. A lot of people who really don't know what they're talking about, uh, weighing in and, and spreading a lot of uh, conspiracy stuff that really doesn't make sense. And you know, while stuff like this is kind of fun in a way that, you know, just I, doing science is fun, doing ballistic stuff is kind of fun, I think it does kind of go without saying that uh, the message that we're trying to get out here today is just data, trying to put right some conspiracy theories and things going around. This isn't any sort of message toward political violence. I shouldn't have to say it, but that's obviously not what we're about. That's not what we're talking about today, and that's not the point. Of well, basically, that's it. I mean, we don't really need to listen to the rest of it, but... No, but that was good. Kudos I, to them. That was, I really uh, thought y'all would like, like that, because their commentary was yeah. great. Dude, I've never, like... I I love when they can slow things down like mm -hmm. that. Um, they, ha I, did, I saw something similar when they were giving tattoos and it like showed the, the needle going into the skin and how it's like deposited and stuff. And it is the craziest thing when it's like recreated like that. But that's crazy to see how a bullet would actually like, you know. Yeah. I almost like I would probably watch more videos from that guy because they, they are so funny. Yeah, yeah, I, I like them. Like we definitely I, I like maybe gonna have to revisit that. Yeah, revisit. Yeah, and, uh, I could watch more of that. And you guys, like, like, leave in the comments. Like, what is your theory on, you know, what what might have happened? You know, within reason. Okay, I I, I don't need some BS in, in in the comments. Within reason. Yeah. <laughs> just because we're open to all opinions, we're just curious on on, on what you think might have happened. Um, was it an inside job? Was it allowed to happen? Was it just a, a ne negligence and security? Like, what do you think actually happened that day? Um, and we obviously know that it's not staged. That's ridiculous. So let's just move on from that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so it's not staged. Wasn't blood packs. A man died. Two people were injured. We're going to, we're going to move on from that. So, well, yeah. three um, people, including Trump, Trump was injured too, but well, yeah, I guess I'm thinking of like the, yeah. uh, the I guess civilians. Trump was the target. Right. I'm thinking, thinking of the civilians. innocent people. Yeah. I'm thinking of the innocent people around. Right. So not that Trump wasn't innocent, but he was the target. So right. um, anyways, leave your comments below. Um, I'll be looking forward to reading them. And then um, until next time, guys, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Um, click the links if you want to support the channel. Um, and then hit that bell. Uh, get notified anytime we drop anything new. And until next time, guys, peace out. Peace.